After a decade, here we are, back in Old Town Saginaw, where it all began. The funeral home was open for about a century, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20,000 people came through the funeral home. We will be investigating the claims of the paranormal activity prior to us moving in the building, but my focus is the items in my collection. Whatever is in here was never a human being. Well, when she looks at me, her eyes are black. There's no white in, in the eye socket. They're just black. It's almost as if her hand is, is trying to reach out. It wasn't as, as though we had made eye contact, but I could tell that he sensed my presence. From what I've heard, the funeral director would go down to Potter Street Station. They would bring them back here, basically embalm them, and send them further on to wherever their destination was. For me to be able to feel comfortable bringing in the public to see the collection, to see the museum, I know I can't do it until it's taken care of. Hundreds of items in these exhibits come from the locations that we've investigated over the years. We have to do whatever it takes to remove any negative or evil attachment from the items in the exhibit. This mirror you should cover. And the reason why I say this mirror you should cover is because a spirit or a soul went into the mirror. Wow, there's a lot of energy coming from this. Whoa. To be honest with you, there have been people here for so long, we'll never know where everyone is buried. This is it, guys. It's showtime. I think this is about it for my comfort zone. Almost count on both hands how many times I've actually seen an apparition and to see two this short of a period of time is just unheard of. <laughs>